Hi everybody, this is Millie. Welcome to Millie's Meal Planning on a Budget. Today I'm going to share with you my green salsa enchiladas. So the first thing I do is I make the green salsa. So here I have half an onion. And to this I'm going to add two poblano peppers. So I chopped the uh, poblano peppers and I'm going to add them to the blender. To add one regular bell pepper. I'm also going to add one jalapeno pepper. So I added the onion, the two poblano peppers, one bell pepper, green bell pepper, one jalapeno pepper, and now I'm going to add the three garlic cloves. And to this, I'm going to add my chicken broth. So the chicken broth that I always make when I buy the uh, rotisserie chicken. To add a little bit of garlic powder, not too much because I already added the three garlic cloves. And I'm also going to add um, about half a teaspoon of oregano. So adding the oregano. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of paprika, a smoked paprika, just a little bit, not too much, just for the flavor. And then I'm also going to add this uh, chicken bouillon flavor. Uh, so the chicken bouillon will give it a good flavor to the sauce. To add one tablespoon of taco seasoning. I'm not going to add cumin because the taco seasoning has all those flavors. To thicken the sauce, sometimes people make a roux, which is butter and flour. But instead of me doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken the sauce with white beans. So I'm going to add the uh, white beans. This is a can of white beans. I strain the uh, liquid, then I rinse them. And now I'm going to add them to the, um, to the green sauce. So now to tame the spiciness of the sauce, I'm going to add a little bit of agave instead of adding sugar. So. So this is the uh, green sauce for the enchiladas. So now I'm going to turn on my pan here and I'm going to put about, about one tablespoon of olive oil. So let that warm up. And so now I'm going to pour the sauce. So I'm gonna cook the sauce in here. So I'm gonna, so I pour the sauce. And I'm gonna cook this. And the beans, the white beans are going to thicken the sauce a little bit. And if you feel like the uh, beans thicken the sauce too much, you could always add a little bit more liquid. So since I added the uh, chicken broth for flavor, on top of flavor, once this cooks down, then I'll start assembling the uh, enchiladas. So the sauce is thickening. I don't like it too thick. Um, you know, if you don't have the white beans, you could use the flour and butter, which is uh, usually what uh, is done. But I like, um, I was listening to this doctor that said that adding beans to your daily diet is good for you. And I figure, you know, if it's good for you, why not? So this is the way I have been doing it. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. I'm gonna slide it over. And here I have, the rotisserie chicken. So the rotisserie chicken, let me taste the sauce to see if it needs a little bit of salt. 
so mm, I think it's I need a little bit of salt just a little bit just a pinch um, you know beans and all these other spices they all have salt so so now what I'm going to do is so I have the rotisserie chicken here and I added some taco seasoning on the um, on the chicken so that's to flavor it and it'll give it that flavor that I'm looking for and I'm also going to add a little bit of this sauce so the green sauce you know usually people like the red sauce and I like to have the red sauce every now and again but with the peppers especially fresh peppers you can't go wrong so I like to make it like this every so often so, okay so there is the chicken it has the sauce so now I'm going to let me move this back so I could start assembling the um, so I could start assembling the enchiladas so I have the tortillas I have um, flour tortillas here they're nice and soft they're very flexible so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sauce on the bottom on the some sauce on the bottom of the dish here and then I'm going to put a little bit of the uh, pepper jack cheese on the bottom too and then I'm going I added the, uh, the Monterey Jack the pepper jack cheese the chicken so the enchiladas are going to be amazing because I put the green sauce in the chicken I didn't have to uh, put in the tortillas in the sauce which is something that you could do too you could just go ahead and put the tortillas in the sauce but this way by putting the uh, sauce in the chicken you don't have to worry about that because uh, once it cooks all that sauce is going to get in the tortilla so the enchiladas are going to be nice and cheesy they have a lot of chicken and a lot of sauce a lot of cheese and so maybe I'll put in one more so here is the last one now I'm gonna put sauce on top they're gonna be nice and saucy they have a lot of chicken inside I stuffed them with a lot of chicken a lot of cheese So when they bake, they're going to taste amazing. Okay, so they're nice and saucy. Make sure they have it on the sides too, so they won't get dried. So there, and now I'm going to put cheese on top. So the Monterey Jack cheese. gonna be nice and cheesy now some pepper jack cheese pepper jack has a little bit of kick not too spicy but it has the uh, it has a little kick so 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 there are the enchiladas there you have it so now I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and I'm gonna put them in for about a half an hour to 45 minutes.
and then I'll uncover it and leave it there for another probably 10 minutes. Okay, so while the enchiladas are cooking, I'm going to make some guacamole. So the first thing I do is I'll slice the avocado. And like I said, the avocado is soft, so we don't need to use a sharp knife for this. And, um, and you know, when it comes to avocado, the way I see it is, when people say, I'm making a guacamole, to me, guacamole has to have everything. It has to have tomato, it has to have jalapeno pepper, it has to have onion. If they say that they're gonna make me a guacamole, if they only put onion, to me, that's not guacamole. To me, that's just mashed avocado. <laughs> So that's the reason why I usually call it a mashed avocado because that's what it is. So I'm going to put the tomato, I'm going to put the jalapeno pepper, I'm going to put the onions. So to me, this is a guacamole. And I do like my guacamole kind of chunky. Um, I like it to have some texture and it doesn't matter how I eat it, whether I eat it with chips or I eat it with enchiladas like we're gonna do right now or with tacos, you know, nachos, just chips. This is going to be amazing. And once I mash everything together, then I taste it to make sure that it has the salt that it needs. Um, it's probably gonna need a little bit more lime or lemon. Um, and you know, it doesn't matter what you put in it, whether it's lime or lemon, it's going to taste good. So now when the enchiladas are done, I'm going to have the guacamole ready. So you see, this is guacamole. You have the tomato, you have the onions, you have the jalapeno pepper, you have the lime. You could put cilantro, I don't have cilantro. That's something I don't use often unless I'm making soup. But doesn't that look amazing? These are the green enchiladas. Yes, I'm going to serve them. Here are my green sauce enchiladas. I put a little bit of uh, queso fresco. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And now I'm going to put a little bit of my guacamole right on top, not too much. And you can serve this with rice or you can serve it with a salad. But right now I'm going to cut them so I can show you all the cheese and the chicken and the sauce. Mm. You see how nice and cheesy this is? Mm. Mm -hmm. And the guacamole has everything. It has the tomato, the jalapeno pepper. You can't go wrong with this. Make it for your family. I'm sure that if you make it for your family, they're going to love it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.